Welcome to an exciting exploration into the future of energy. Join me in this illuminating journey through four groundbreaking innovations poised to revolutionize our homes with the power of green hydrogen. While the industrial sector has embraced the potential of green hydrogen, its adoption for household use has remained a challenging frontier. The paradigm is shifting rapidly, and the horizon of possibilities is expanding, thanks to relentless research and innovative breakthroughs. These four visionary projects are at the vanguard, heralding a transformative era, evolving from development stages to comprehensive testing, all in pursuit of bringing accessible and commercially viable green hydrogen to our households. Get ready to discover how these trailblazing initiatives are on the cusp of making household green hydrogen a reality on a scale never seen before. The Solid Project, a collaborative endeavor between Comate Engineering and Design, Kuluvan, and the province of Flemish Brabant, introduces an innovative concept of solar panels that harness both sunlight and air to generate hydrogen, setting a pioneering standard in renewable energy production. These groundbreaking hydrogen solar panels not only have the capability to power home appliances but also offer versatile applications. They produce hydrogen gas, which can be used to heat homes or supply electricity to appliances, offering a sustainable and eco-friendly energy source. The panels possess the potential to store hydrogen, providing opportunities to charge electric vehicles and potentially fuel transport companies' fleets. The technology of the hydrogen solar panels demonstrates an impressive conversion rate of 15% of sunlight into hydrogen gas, indicating a significant leap in renewable energy production efficiency. Recognized for its innovation, the Solid Project received an innovation subsidy from the province of Flemish Brabant, reflecting its market potential and collaborative efforts among various entities. This initiative aims to redefine the cost dynamics of hydrogen panels, making them more affordable and accessible to individuals not limited solely to large-scale corporate entities. In a bid to revolutionize the renewable energy landscape, the Solid Project targets the creation of an affordable hydrogen panel that solely relies on sunlight and air for green hydrogen production. This innovation reflects the team's commitment to propelling renewable energy solutions into a realm where households and smaller-scale users can benefit from the advancements in sustainable energy production. Photon Cycle, set to revolutionize renewable energy storage and self-sufficiency. Spearheaded by a collaborative effort involving Oboz Block Watney, Evany, Valu, and Sintef, the project aims to address challenges posed by the rapid adoption of solar panels in Europe, especially the imbalance they create in the power grid. Sver Kirkevald, Oboz Block Watney's head of technology and innovation, expresses optimism about the potential of this technology, emphasizing its transformative capacity for the future. With plans to test the technology on 10 houses in Norway's eastern region, the project symbolizes a significant stride in the evolution of renewable energy energy technologies. The surge in solar panel installations across Europe has yielded a surplus of electricity in summer but created a deficit in winter, leading to strained power grids and fluctuating electricity prices. Jorn Brandsieg, a key figure behind Photon Cycle, addresses this issue by introducing a solution that stores surplus energy for periods of high demand, effectively resolving the challenges faced in winter when solar energy production decreases. The concept involves a solid substance capable of storing surplus current for months without the need for rare elements or risk of flammability, thus heralding a potential solution to the imbalance in electricity production and consumption. The substance is anticipated to store 10,000 kilowatt hours, housed in a 3 cubic meter underground tank, fostering a parallel to the buried fuel oil tanks utilized for heating in the past. The implications of photon cycle suggest the possibility of achieving year-round self-sufficiency in electricity, a monumental leap compared to the current contribution of a typical plant, which accounts for just over a third of total electricity consumption. The project embodies the fusion of innovation and practicality, aiming to reshape the landscape of renewable energy and self-sustainability for households. The University of Michigan's Breakthrough Solar Panel Catalyst has achieved 9% efficiency in the conversion of water into hydrogen and oxygen, marking a substantial advancement in solar water splitting technology. This pioneering technology, significantly more efficient than prior experiments, is set to drive down the cost of sustainable hydrogen production, making it a game-changer in the pursuit of clean energy. These innovative solar panels have the capacity to shrink the semiconductor, a crucial and expensive component of the device, and are able to withstand concentrated light equivalent to 160 suns. By harnessing this light intensity, the panels are a leap forward in efficiency, rivaling the efficiency of natural photosynthesis. With the aim of reducing carbon emissions and advancing carbon-neutral technologies, 
hydrogen emerges as a key component in sustainable fuels and various chemical processes. Professor Zeshin Mai, leading the study published in Nature, highlights that the device's ultimate goal is to surpass the efficiency of natural photosynthesis, ultimately paving the way for a carbon-neutral future. This innovation brings a vision of more cost-effective and efficient artificial photosynthesis, potentially reshaping the hydrogen economy by utilizing sunlight to power a myriad of essential reactions. The catalyst's unique design, integrating a high-efficiency semiconductor with the ability to concentrate sunlight without degradation, is a major leap forward in solar water splitting technology. It efficiently uses different parts of the solar spectrum to split water and heat, essential for optimizing the reaction. Furthermore, its self-healing property under harsh conditions and high temperatures propels the hydrogen production process, allowing the device to outperform in terms of both efficiency and sustainability. The semiconductor catalyst, made of indium gallium nitride nanostructures, demonstrates its potential through its compatibility with high temperatures and sun intensities. Through a series of experiments, the team showcased the panel's ability to generate hydrogen efficiently, with the outdoor setup achieving 6.1% efficiency and an indoor efficiency of 9%. This revolutionary technology opens avenues for higher efficiency and ultra-high purity hydrogen that can directly power fuel cells, paving the way for a more sustainable future in energy production and use. The project was a collaborative effort involving various contributors and received support from several entities, including the National Science Foundation, the Department of Defense, and the Michigan Translational Research and Commercialization Innovation Hub. Some of the intellectual property related to this work has been licensed to NS Nanotech, Inc., and NX Fuels, Inc., companies co-founded by Professor Mai and affiliated with the University of Michigan. The University of Michigan's solar panel catalyst demonstrates a significant stride in the realm of solar energy, with the potential to significantly advance the development of sustainable hydrogen and carbon-neutral solutions. Rice University engineers have achieved a groundbreaking milestone in renewable energy by developing a revolutionary device that harnesses sunlight to convert water into hydrogen with a remarkable efficiency of 20.8%. This pioneering technology, developed by the Lab of Chemical and Biomolecular Engineer Aditi Amohai, utilizes halide pair of skite semiconductors and electrocatalysts in a single, cost-effective and scalable device, setting a new standard for green hydrogen production. The device, known as a photoelectrochemical cell, operates by absorbing sunlight, converting it into electricity, and utilizing this electricity to drive a chemical reaction. In a study published in Nature Communication, Researchers at Rice University detailed how this breakthrough technology overcomes prior limitations, achieving a level of efficiency previously unparalleled in the field of photoelectrochemical technology. The key challenge lay in ensuring the stability of the halide pair of skite semiconductors in water while preserving their functionality. The team devised a novel barrier structure that effectively insulated the semiconductors, preventing water damage and simultaneously facilitating efficient electron transfer. Lead author Austin Fair, a chemical and biomolecular engineering doctoral student, highlighted the significance of this breakthrough, emphasizing its exceptional efficiency and the use of an economically viable semiconductor. The successful development of this technology offers a pathway towards commercial viability, a milestone previously unattainable due to the high cost of semiconductors. The implications of this breakthrough extend beyond green hydrogen production. It promises to drive a wide range of fuel-forming reactions, powered by abundant sunlight and offering a potential transition from fossil fuel-based processes to solar fuel. As the research progresses, there is hope that this technology could potentially revolutionize the hydrogen economy, marking a significant leap towards sustainable energy and environmental preservation. The study was a collaborative effort between Rice University and the National Renewable Energy Laboratory, with support from the Department of Energy and Sarin Energy Inc. Aditya Mohai, the lead researcher, and Michael Wong, a rice chemical engineer, played pivotal roles in steering this transformative research towards practical applications and future commercial feasibility. 